creative industries have emerged as one of the leading sectors in the economy. Starting up a small recording studio in my dad's garage is all it took. My story was more like experimenting with a variety of flavors, baking cupcakes, brownies, donuts. Breakthroughs are usually when you find a new way to do something. Oh well, me and my sister set up a fashion label because we just couldn't find what we wanted in shops. Breaking rules and great stories start with how you dare to do things differently. So, how do you start and sustain a business? All these and more as Africa's Global Bank, UBA, presents Mind Your Own Business, a radio program designed to initialize, educate, and motivate young entrepreneurs emerging as strong players in the local and global economy. Stay tuned for Mind Your Own Business, proudly brought to you by UBA, Africa's Global Bank. This is Mind Your Own Business, brought to you by UBA, Africa's Global Bank. Good morning. Welcome to Mind Your Own Business, brought to you by UBA, Africa's Global Bank. I'm Boli Famriwa, and thank you for tuning in. On today's program, we focus on real estate. It's been said to be a great opportunity in Nigeria. Everyone talks about this huge housing deficit. So hopefully we're going to hear from people who are taking a crack at that opportunity and making a business out of it. Today, our guest is Ruth Obi. She's the CEO of 3Invest. Ruth, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. All right. We always like to start with the background to this entrepreneurial story. So where did it all start for you? I know you're a lawyer by training. So how did you get into this? Uh, okay. First of all, I'm a lawyer. You said it. Um, you always catch a bug from somewhere. Um, I think I caught the real estate bug from being a lawyer so I would I'd had to work in a in a firm that was doing conveyancing which is the legal transaction for um, when you're trying to perfect title for your document so from there I was able to pick up the real estate business back of the law mm. and I started to invest All eight right. years ago yeah that's about what eight nine eight years, years ago now, yeah eight okay. years yeah, it's, it will be nine this year. so tell us more about your business what exactly does three invest do? you know what to be honest some people have asked me this question and i happen to be like what do we do really oh well um three invest is like i would always say a research in motion mm. we're growing to be somewhere i mean we have a vision but literally we want to become a real estate investment vehicle in the what the name says three invest so it's meant to be a real estate investment company so it's a company you come to when you want to invest in real estate and we'll take you through all the steps and through that there's a business model attached to that and you can make money and get the business moving so that's where we're hoping to be by the time we're 10 so mm. yeah so a bit of advisory type work is that what you're saying real estate investment vehicle is like um it's like real estate banking like the way you walk into a bank to save money mm-hmm. for whatever you want to do so you're going to be able to walk into through invest save money towards buying a home be able to buy a right house be able to get the right information you need to be able to acquire and grow your real estate okay mm. so our focus really is to have everybody to create a valuable investment in the long run so we want to turn nigerian youth into real estate investors as i just got against just consumers because i mean I, I read some reports and they come oh nigerians are consumers and i like consumers for good or for bad i mean they look at us people that spend money for commodities against saving money mm. into what would help us you know become richer in the future so that's what our plan is is to make sure we create a better and wealthier in nigeria right and how's it going i mean how far have you come uh, you've been what nine years now yeah it's or going well to? well i mean when we started it's little by dabbling here and there we started consulting agency and the rest of that mm. and we started um i think after three years into the business we uh, when they had the first economics um, downturn there, which is l- not as bad as this one we're facing now. <laughs> so we thought about, okay, what do I do? I went back to school and I was like, okay, I came back and I thought about advocating. So that's when we started the online platform, 3investonline.com. It was like a daily blog about putting information out there to people, mm. which is more like, you know, we invested more into content. We went about content. I mean, I think literally we tried to change the whole um, system of traditional system of doing real estate to something you've seen that has become a new 
you know revolution today um so having the online stuff having the real estate on air for mm. almost like five years mm. all that and having the real estate um real estate unites which has become the largest real estate event in africa today mm. um all those have helped us those were like advocacy platforms that we've used to not only build our brand but position ourselves for what we want to become by the right. time we get to our medium term goal all right so at this point correct me if i'm wrong you're not actually building houses for people oh, to no, live in no, 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 so you're more of in the background helping advising linking up the buyers and the sellers that type of thing yeah we you know what it is is um the most mistakes that we've noticed have happened to people in the industry is maybe lack of knowing the industry that you want to be in so i think it's best you say you shop around and see what exactly do you want to do you just don't come tomorrow and say i want to go into development i want to go into construction we invested resources in trying to understand real estate so if we wanted to build a thousand units today going to commercial real estate do any more we already know what we are going to face so we're not going to go into the issues of oh who's going to be the tenant who's going to be that so we already have worked in all that aspect of real estate right. so it's just like building an ecosystem around real estate so mm. that makes you positioned to get to where you want to be so right. that's what we've been doing so in the process you are learning hopefully you're yeah, helping others learn as well mm-hmm. and we you learn have an every end day. Game. when i when i when i interview people i learn a lot you mm-hmm. can imagine the kind of the world I invest. I think we've interviewed over close to ninety guests on the show. Yeah, wow. all real estate top professionals across the world, and of course, I learn every day. I mean, I'm on my show, I get to learn at sure. the events. We have top people across the world coming to speak. There are a lot of things I don't know. We have to learn. Mm. So by the day, we learn from experience, from what you get in having to run an office from nothing to something, having an indigenous brand, growing it from nothing, no help, no equity, no debt, nothing. So mm. that's how we've positioned to build the company. Right. So we, when it gets the time where you want it, I go to the bank or go to look for money, you already know what to do. So you're mm. not going to face all those challenges of you have this loan here, you have this bad debt here. So you're already sort of, you know, intelligently doing things differently. Right, yeah. absolutely. You've quite, you've learned definitely a lot, I imagine. Okay, we're going to take a break and then we'll talk more about the real estate opportunity in Nigeria. But before we do that, of course, we always like our guests to make a music selection. So, Ruth, what would you like? Okay, <laughs> okay. so I think I'll go with one Nigerian artist. Mm. And of course, I'll go with my favorite artist and I'll go with uh, this person because he not only believed in me, he's my friend, Two-Face, and I'll go with Power of Niger. All right, yeah. I'm sure we'll bring that. I like that. that song, No Matter the State. Yeah, I like okay. that. Okay, yeah. um, well, you will hear it right now. Thank you. Because we'll come back after this break and continue our conversations with Ruth Obi, giving us some interesting perspective on Nigeria's real estate market. Back in a moment. Coming up on Mind Your Own Business. The traditional way of selling real estate is when you want to do real estate, that you set up a development team, mm-hmm. which includes a marketing agent or a marketing company that you work with. Yeah. You have to strictly and exclusively let the marketing company do their job. No matter the stage, there's still room for greatness. No matter the stage. Power 
Welcome back to Mind Your Own Business, brought to you by UBA, Africa's Global Bank. We're speaking to Ruth Obi, the CEO of 3Invest, a real estate service company. Ruth, thank you so much for staying with us. So okay. let's dig a little deeper into what you do, because what we really want to appreciate is the opportunity in real estate. Okay. Typically, everyone thinks real estate is all about buying and selling houses, but you obviously are doing a lot more than that. Tell us more. Okay, um, what I consider myself, aside from being lawyer, which is my first love, is mm. I'm a real estate entrepreneur. So what do I see? Opportunities of developing businesses surrounding real estate. An entrepreneur, you can decide to be a energy entrepreneur. I can decide to be a power entrepreneur. So the first thing you have to do as an entrepreneur is what's that one thing I want to be known for? Okay, right. like you see Ruth, you say real estate, you see someone, you say music. Uh, so that's one thing. So what I've done over the past few years years is to develop businesses around real estate okay so what it is that um, aside from being a service provider we have uh, different business lines uh, mm -hmm. as a company mm -hmm. so we've we structured the business in such a way that okay we look at this opportunity and look at okay this is the service how does it produce money and we work towards providing the service and also making the money out of it given for example the event I'm not an event organizer but we own the event so we own the money that comes out of the event because right. Right. At the end of the day, we curate the event, make sure people have a good event. We go and look for the sponsors right. and we get paid. And there's a model right. that comes, there's money. So that's you do sort an of, event around yeah, real yeah. estate. So we have a radio show. I'm not an anchor, I'm not AP right. and so all that. a radio so, show around, yeah, real, around estate. real estate. So everything we do, if I decide to sing tomorrow, I'm going to sing real estate <laughs> song. So that's like I like to hear what that sounds here. like. <laughs> <laughs> My property right. is my property. <laughs> so all that sort of stuff. So that's what we've done. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the focus at the end of the day is what thing? Real estate. So if mm. I'm going to do anything we're going to do, it's going to be, that's what it is. So myself um, as an entrepreneur, I just chose to, you know, develop the real estate industry in Nigeria. Mm. Developing the real estate industry in Nigeria, the most important thing everybody needs, like I'll say, is information. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have information, even as um, a buyer, investor, a developer, or somebody, an entrepreneur trying to, you know, start a business around the real estate industry, that's one thing we lack data in right, the country. Right, so right. we invest so in you that data provider to some providing extent too. data, mm. all the sort of stuff, you know, having people to get the added great thing that they need to prepare them to be in that industry so that's why a lot of people will come and say three invest here three invest here what do they mm, do what do they mm, do mm, yeah mm. we do everything we're building an ecosystem around right. real estate so right. we can't not be relevant at any point in time mm. so that's 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 no, the strategy you've definitely touched a very interesting area because billions if not trillions are spent on building and selling houses in Nigeria but well, let's talk about that because there's so much talk about this housing deficit mm -hmm. maybe your thoughts about the opportunity for those who are listening who think real estate sounds like an interesting area what do you say to them that are thinking of pursuing that line in terms of building and selling or being a agent or being a middleman <laughs> in the process the agent thing is a problem in Nigeria, <laughs> first of all. i think one let's let's take that agent thing right most people have issues i mean i have issues with agents i'm not an agent but i mean mm. sometimes i provide services that i have to pay for like an agent right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you have a professional service provider is different from you are just someone whose uncle has one house to sell and you now become the agent in the middle and that's what you see is Right. So the problem is that the owners of the house, not the agents. So mm. the landlords, the developers, the traditional way of selling real estate is when you want to do real estate and you set up a development team, mm -hmm. which includes a marketing agent or a marketing company that you work with. Yeah. You have to strictly and exclusively let the marketing company do their job. So you don't go like, you know what, I don't want to give it to one person, no, which mm. is the standard thing you mm. see. I don't want to mm. give it to one person, no. Mm. And at the end of the day, you now start seeing a case whereby 10 banners are in one property and you now start running around it because they want to share one five percent and all that so all those things are things we're trying to like you know take up in real estate it doesn't happen outside this country and i can tell you for a fact just right. in the uk right. there must be that one company that's managing your property right. managing your investment right. and they will do even if they need to engage other agents they will be the ones to do that so the issue is for developers to begin to do that practice of having to do the things right in mm. terms of that agency part mm. but aside from that there are lots of opportunities in real estate it's real estate is the biggest job creation you know in the in because i mean you have construction you have anything plumbing skill set yeah, there are a lot of things to do in real estate. So if you want to go into real estate, just know that real estate is not just 
build, build in the house itself. The house. No, there I don't are so build. many services around that. I run a business for five years and I never sold one house and I can mm. make as much as money and person that sells and collects agency. Mm. So it's just looking for the opportunity. If you want to do something, you just look up for an opportunity to develop something in that sector. So which is the right information you need. So Maybe you can talk to me at Three Invest. Or, <laughs> you know, shout out to me on LinkedIn, my preferred way of communicating right. at Ruth Obi. And of course, I can be able to help you push you through what your passion is and how you can develop it in the real estate industry. All right, we yeah. definitely want to hear more from you. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll have to take another break now, and again, we give you the opportunity to oh make a music God, selection. I didn't think about so, that. what would you like this time? Uh, so let me take one international star. Okay, no, let me take Emergency Alert, the band. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, I'm sure that's coming right up for you back in a moment. Coming up on Mind Your Own Business. Being an entrepreneur is not being a CEO. I mm. just wanted to say this because a lot of people, you know, you incorporate a company and tomorrow I hear you're a CEO of one head this or CEO of one store this or CEO of one water. It doesn't work like that. Please, for the simple fact, just get to the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> I told you before, Nakali, listen, I got you. Coming through Emergency, emergency You never see me coming through Emergency, emergency You never see me coming through Emergency, emergency You never see me coming through Welcome back to Mind Your Own Business, brought to you by UBA Africa's Global Bank, where we take you through the entrepreneurial journeys in Africa's largest economy. And we're speaking to Ruth Obi. She's still with us here. She is the CEO of 3Invest. All right, Ruth, so let's talk about technology. It's, we're in the tech age, and I want to get a sense of how you are leveraging technology and your advice to those who are looking to go into business, including real estate, how they can use technology to get ahead. Okay, I think um, first of all, like I said to you, after three years in the business, I had to go into thinking about how to be sustainable in Mm. times of downtown periods like this. We shouldn't be out of business. So we thought about technology. Talking about technology, the only way you can globalize your brand is through technology. So because, I mean, you can talk to Puff Daddy. (laughs) I don't know why I had to use (laughs) Puff Daddy. You can talk to Donald Trump today. You can talk to uh, Obama today because they're all accessible, okay, through technology, which is just like Twitter and the rest of that social media. So technology has played a great role on 3Invest because we've not only been credited for digitizing the real estate industry, but honestly, I think back in the days, like five, six years ago, all people had to do was either put their um, advert on very good real estate magazine in Nigeria yeah. and um, in the rest of that and you did just have to do but we started into like I said to you investing in doing more of digital marketing you know like promote people's brands I think right about when we started most of the companies which are over like 80 or 100 companies that we worked with did not even have a logo did mm. not even probably have a website mm. but we I'll, I'll, I'll come to the website part but we you know made people understand that top mds today who are listening to me i had to convince to say listen you need to personally be on social media even if it's not linkedin it should be on twitter right. people should be able to reach you your right. company should have a brand they said no, no no that's not a market but everybody's there now everybody's seeing the need and they're using it's it as a below the line now. you know marketing because it saves you a lot of money you want to say something you just tweet at it and you see every blog copies it and just post it out so, so those are the things that we've done you right. know that people began to do 
do not because people will say that oh we're trendsetters or that, that, that. no no i'm not trying to I'm, I'm still humble as we can be but the mm. truth is we have to look into trends look into the future you know research more you know study more look at what are other people doing so right. if you come to me and you dress well and i see you the next day i'll come out looking better okay so you, you must be influenced by positivity than mm. just keeping back to what you're used to which might not be able to take you any further right yeah. so that's what technology has done for us so we use that to develop our brand so what i would say to you know any business today is not just um, okay technology has not just been on twitter sorry <laughs> <laughs> i was just gonna get into that is it that simple <laughs> post on twitter facebook technology. and everybody knows you tomorrow technology has not just been on twitter facebook and the rest of that and also i had to say this because I, I i posted something on instagram about it being an entrepreneur is not being a ceo i mm. just wanted to say this because a lot of people you know you incorporate a company and tomorrow i hear you're a ceo of one head this or ceo of one store this or ceo of one water it doesn't work like that please for the simple fact just get to the dictionary and see what does a chief executive officer mean so there's a whole lot of things that you have to look at corporate governance setting up a board being able to manage that and all that so all that sort of stuff so that's i needed to put that for the young people listening to us today okay yeah so going back to technology um it's more about looking for how you can do business with technology <laughs> you can just send an email and it gets to whoever i want that's against posting the mail you know what i mean right. like okay in harvard not like they don't have to do um the normal traditional marketing on the rest of all everything they do most times is just you know through whether email or digital marketing hmm. so digital marketing is is an act that you have to learn okay yeah. that the fact that you have a twitter so you need to actually learn you it need to, to get the best it. out of it you can take a and book, you can, you go can online? research you can go online on wikipedia you just have to understand how it's done and do it well and for a focus for a brand purpose so if you have to use technology you have to use it properly right That's, so the yeah. use of technology must fit the business fit yes. the brand mm-hmm. okay as we begin to round up we always like to hear tips from entrepreneurs that have made it in nigeria so Ruth, well, I have three yet, tips. I have three yet, tips for those listening in now. Though, I haven't yet made it. We're You've been around almost ten years. Many no, will say you've we, made it. No, we've we we're, we're You're getting hoping, there. At we're least. hoping to get there, you know. But um, my my tips, three tips. One is first of all, you either have God or you have something else. So you need mm. to be focused to what the supreme being is. Mm. So it's a difficult. Um, it's it's not easy to do anything not at, so talk about business so you must have um, a spiritual support so you must faith have, is baseline so faith for inspiration to, yeah. so you must be inspired you must stay you know strong because there are times when you just want to give up so you have to have one thing so either you're serving god or you have something that gives you inspiration but we choose to serve god so mm. we get daily inspiration from god so you have to keep up with your spiritual life that's one you know i always say courage mm okay because uh, there are times i mean it's frustrating you must be able to learn or know truly everything about your business for you to you know be in business i mean if you're running this show you must learn how to produce i've had you know like you know i have a radio show i've turned up one day my show is about to go on air (laughs) my producer is not there and all that and i had to literally produce my show right Mm. so that's those are the so you have to be skilled if you're you know to run a business so if you have to produce water better know how to drink it or mm. know how to you know so that that's one then the 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 last one that i would say is learn how to you know save so i think right about if you can't um save one dollar you obviously can't save a million dollars i mean i've learned that and yeah. it's not about before you spend you have to make sure guarantee not when you spend an invoice to someone that has not paid you you start spending on that invoice no right, right, bro, right, don't right. do that wait for that money to come and you must have a budget so you can spend within your budget if you're mm. not spending within your budget you're gonna run the business at a vacuum and you know nature abhors vacuum when it comes to business so those are three words all right well ruth thank you thank you it's been really good talking to you thank ruth you. obi the ceo of three invest giving us her perspective on doing business in nigeria and that's where we end it on mind your own business for this week thank you so much for listening i hope you've learned a thing or two about how to do business in nigeria thank you for listening good morning 
For inquiries on Mind Your Own Business, please contact UBA Customer Fulfillment Center by calling these numbers 01-280-8822, 01-631-9822 and 0700-225582, facebook.com forward slash UBA group. Twitter.com forward slash UBA group. Live chat www.ubagroup.com. And you can also email cfc at ubagroup.com. Today's business tips on mind your own business from Ruth Obi is faith, courage, and income savings. Creative industries have emerged as one of the leading sectors in the economy. Starting up a small recording studio in my dad's garage is all it took. My story was more like experimenting with a variety of flavors. Baking cupcakes, brownies, donuts. Breakthroughs are usually when you find a new way to do something. Oh well, me and my sister set up a fashion label because we just couldn't find what we wanted in shops. Breaking rules and great stories start with how you dare to do things differently. So, how do you start and sustain a business? All these and more as Africa's Global Bank, UBA, presents Mind Your Own Business, a radio program designed to initialize, educate, and motivate young entrepreneurs emerging as strong players in the local and global economy. Stay tuned for Mind Your Own Business, proudly brought to you by UBA.